we shall now talk about how we can pass a structure type of a variable by value. This is about passing parameters to a function. Since this structure blueprint is going to be used in the function also, it is important that I declare the structure globally that is outside any function. So I can say student underscore info, all right? And it's going to have the first member, let's say name of 50, all right? And then let's say the person or the student's age, all right? So age is declared. So this is the structure blueprint or other model. No memory is allocated for this. Now what I'm going to do here is, I am going to then next declare a variable, sorry, a function void called as void print data. This fellow is going to have struct variable of the type student info and then the name can be, uh, yeah, let it be the name be student. All right, this is the prototype of this particular function. Now in main, what I'm going to do here is, I'm going to declare a structure variable and initialize it with some initial values. So let's say this is my structure blueprint and let's say yes data is my actual structure variable. So I can initialize it like this. I can say Arjun and then I can give it the value. Let's say 12 years. Arjun is 12 years. All right. And then I close this bracket. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to say sorry. I'm going to type in print data and I'm going to pass S yes data as a parameter. So S yes data is going to be passed from main on to print data. Now in print data, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to simply say I'm printing the member details or sorry, M-E-M-B-E-R. All right, some, something's wrong. Member details. All right, member details and this thing. Now let's say if I have to print F, I have to just say percentage yes and little space. You can see the age also percentage D. And then let me print stu student dot name comma stu student dot age. All right. So this is going to print the student name and student age. A few things you need to observe here. Since I have written print data before main, so before it's being called, since print data definition or the code is typed, I don't need to declare a prototype. But it is absolutely important that the structure blueprint be declared above even print data because in print data I am saying that one of the parameter is of this particular type. So when I'm running it, I'll play around with the code and show you different kinds of problems that students encounter if you do not have your concept. All right, so let's copy it here. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to compile and hope that this runs. All right, there's some small mistake Pay on line nine, okay. Okay, I don't know why I put a semicolon here. So now let's compile and run it. Okay, student, okay. Yes, it should be just student.name and it should be a comma. And now let's run it. So now you should see Arjun and 12 being printed. So now here, if you see on the left hand side of your screen, you can notice that Arjun and 12 is being printed. And this was what was the values were initialized here into S yes data. But this needs a little bit of explanation because there are a lot of concepts in this particular program. First thing you need to understand, yes data is a variable of this particular structure type. Yes data has two members, name and age. So if I have to initialize it, I should initialize it in the order they are declared in the blueprint. So first is name, then followed by the age. Here when I am calling print data, I am sending S yes data by value. So yes data is being sent by value into this print data. And I'm creating a local variable called as student of this same structure type. So this is a pass by value because the values of S data are given into student. So if I have to print the details of S data, if I say student dot name Arjun is printed, if I say student dot age well is printed. Now I'll show you a few problems how students will encounter and make. Suppose I type the structured declaration after this. And now if I try to compare, just see what will happen. It will start giving me errors. The problem why it's giving this errors is it's not doing anything wrong. We are doing something wrong. We are trying to declare a structure type of variable before the structure declaration has been seen by the compiler. So the compiler now doesn't know what this particular stuck student info is of type. That's why if you're 
using a structure across multiple functions it is your job to declare this structure function above every function that's number one now you will see sorry uh, i don't know this just went off so let me just have to just cut and paste that all right so now if you see now if you declare it above everything now it should be fine so now if you see it running it'll run not a problem okay but now i'll show you some more mistakes you can make sometimes what students do is they declare this structure template within main okay so if you declare this blueprint within main in main you will not have a problem but when you are trying to compile it okay the problem is print data has declared a structure student info student kind of a parameter now the compiler doesn't know how this struct student info looks because struct student info has two problems one is it is declared within main so it is not visible to print data that is the first problem okay next thing is if you had declared this particular fellow outside main then your problem would have been solved all right so just be careful about things like this because this is where you will encounter problems now there's one more mistake you will make suppose you take this particular fellow and put print data below now when you try to compile see what happens a good compiler will give you a warning okay because although it's printed it but you have not declared a prototype of print data so if you're declaring a or if you're typing print data after main be sure you put the prototype of print data after the structure declaration has been done so after the declaration of the structure type in print data prototype and then after main you can type in print data and then you can run so if you are having functions after main it is your job to declare the prototypes of all those variables if you are having print data before main then it's not a problem then you don't need to declare a prototype because the compiler already sees print data first stores it stores its declaration and definition internally and when it sees print data in main it already knows how print data does looks and works so few important things if you are using structures across functions the blueprint should be outside all right and if you are having functions using this structure variable after main or outside of main then you need to see that this structure is declared before everything else and then you you should use it again important is prototype if you are writing user defined functions after main be sure you declare the prototypes as i have done here so these are fairly important concepts if you fail to do this you will get a lot of errors and it will be hard for you to debug because you're just learning programming at the very beginning stage